Okay, so uh, let's talk today a little bit about personal branding. And uh, the first question I have is why personal branding is important. Why personal branding is important for you? Sorry? It gives you some recognition. Recognition, yeah. Good job. Good life. Fame. Identity. Reputation. Trust. Influence. Celebrity. Visibility. Authenticity. Loyalty. What's more? So personal brand at the end of the day is really, really important. How many um, speakers do we have in this room? How many speakers? How many personal brand we have here? Let me count it because I didn't agree with you. Like a 10, 20, 30, 40. We have here like a 40 personal brand. We have here 40 speakers. You have to remember, if in the room is more than two, more than one people, you are the public speaker. You have to remember. So uh, when we start building our personal brand, I will ask you a lot of questions because this is a little bit different presentation. Normally I, I, I show some code, I talk about my lovely Angular, but today it's a different presentation. And uh, I choose this topic because a lot of us, special developers, have angst, have fear about AI, about the future. And uh, my answer for this is first is a personal brand, strong personal brand. We have a lot of strong personal brands in, the, in this room, like Emma, like Manfred, like Michael, like Fabian. Where is Fabian? There is Fabian. Like Matthew. It's a lot of strong personal brands you can recognize. So we start building our personal brand when we born. Like at the first second we born, we starting build our personal brand. True or true? Is true or true? Don't be so quiet. We are here to have some fun. As I said, this is not normal presentation. Before Emma show you a lot of great strong stuff. So now, take it easy. Yeah. So, and we built our personal brand, doesn't matter we know it or not. Doesn't matter we want it or not. And doesn't matter we're doing it consciously or not. We built our personal brand every day in every situation. We build it in our family, in our company, in our neighborhood, in our meetups or conferences, in our world. So who am I and why I am standing before you? Um, as Manfred said, I organize uh, two conferences, NG Poland and JS Poland. NG Poland this year is like on November 6th, and it's all about Angla. We talk about all the new stuff, all the exciting stuff. We inspire you. And the second one is the day after the NG Poland is JS Poland. It's all about the JS. And the idea is, because people come to both days, the idea is the first day to inspire you with everything new with Angla. And here, we want you to open your mind for some another, another uh, ways in JavaScript, not for uh, 
leaving Angular, but for being a better Angular developer. So I have uh, two podcasts, the Angular Master Podcast and JavaScript Master Podcast. Some of you know this podcast, I know it, because we talk about it before the meetup. And some of you said, thank you for the podcast. Thank you for listening to the podcast. And I organized a meetup like this, the NG, not NG, Angular Warsaw and Angular Krakow sometimes. I wrote two books. Uh, I'm a co-author, by the way, two books. The Angular JS, uh, First Steps, and uh, uh, a developer on the developer interview. And uh, the Angular JS books changed my life completely. So the question is, does writing a book build our personal brand? What do you think? It's is a matter or not? Yes or yes. It builds our personal brand or not? Yes or yes? yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely, yes. So um, as I said, it changed my life completely. I work in a bank as a developer. Can you, I can tell you this story if you want, of course. You want? Yeah. I can't hear you. You want? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, you're asking. So uh, I, wrote, uh, I worked in, in a bank, and I was tasked to find some framework for one of the most important internal application in this bank. So I, want, I was in the internet and I find a lot of uh, weird stuff like Big Bone. And then I realized uh, um, that Angular 1.1 is really nice. So I start to learn it. And I spent a lot of time to learn it and I proposed this Angular uh, to, uh, to the bank. So they choose it, so we work on this project. But when I learned it, I wrote a lot of notes, a lot of notes. So I realized maybe, maybe I can write a book. It was my dream for, for years. So I call the, 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 the biggest Polish IT publisher and ask them, uh, do you plan uh, releasing a book about Angular? They said, no. What if I wrote this book? They said, hmm, we don't know what is Angular. We don't know you. You are unknown. Yeah, we are happy to release this book. <laughs> of course not. But they sent me the instruction. And so I wrote the first chapter of this book. And one of uh, the points I have to do in was the marketing plan. So I prepare marketing plan for promoting this book, like a four pages marketing plan. It was every conference, every meetup in Poland, I will to attend to promote this book. Not only conference but, uh, and meetups, it was everything related to development, uh, I was there. And I sent them. So they, like uh, two hours later, they call me, we don't know it, Angular, we don't know it, you, but we want this book. We never, ever get a so rich marketing plan from the author. So okay, I said, yeah, let's do it. It took me nine months to write this book, and every month, every few days I go to some conference, I go to some meetup and show them only the cover. I didn't have a book. I show them cover. And when they release the book, the ninth months later, the book immediately become the number one in Poland in IT. And in Next nine months, it was like a from number one 
to number 10, like uh, nine months was in the 10 best selling books in Poland. So I ask you again, it helped to build personal brand or not? Yes. Definitely yes, it helps. I, then I realize that I am a personal brand because anytime after releasing this book, I go to some public place like a conference and people asking me for the autograph or whatever, they coming with a book and saying, okay, it's, it changed my life. And it was so amazing. It, it's, this photo is from like uh, three days ago. I was on the boat with some group of people. I know only one of them. So we have fun, we're talking and all. For, and in, in some time we start talking about our personal life, what we are doing. And one of these guys in the boat in this moment said, I am so happy that I can be here with you because I bought your book nine years ago. I love it. And it, this book changed my life completely because I create a big project for uh, the telecom company and my salary like a go like I know, like a spaceship. So it was amazing. Nine years and some and on the boat, nine years later after re releasing the book on the boat, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, someone said, okay, it was amazing book. It is something that I can't, I have no words. I, am, I was speechless. So, as I said, uh, it's, this book changed my life completely, changed my thinking about personal branding completely. Does creating a podcast build a personal brand? What do you think? For sure. For sure. Does organizing a meetup create a personal brand? No. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Does organizing a conference? Yeah. It's the same. By the way, uh, whose personal brand does the conference build? Organizer? Speaker? maybe master of ceremony, conference participants, sponsors, technical person, venue owners. I think everyone who touch the conference is in the process of building their own personal brand. If you go, of course, to the stage, this is the best way uh, to build, in my opinion, to build a personal brand. Because I love it. I love to be on stage. So for me, it's the best way. I love also record the podcast. It's, uh, it's, I can do it. I love the process from the beginning to the end. From the idea to finding a right person, to recording, to cutting, and to releasing. So I love the full process of, the, of, the, of making a podcast. The same with, uh, with a conference. And uh, so what I'm doing here now, I built my personal brand. Every time, if you have a chance to speak, use this chance to build your personal brand. Because it's, it's so important to, and it's the amazing way uh, to show you as a professional guy, to show you as a someone who is, uh, who can we trust? Yeah, of course, if you 
taking this opportunity. So I show you this slide at the beginning. What on these slides helps me build a personal brand? Everything. Let's start with the picture. A lot of us forgot that the picture is one of the most important thing in social media. One of the most important thing. If I show you, instead of this picture, in this t-shirt, I have this t-shirt now, like uh, my picture in sauna, what do you think? This guy is professional or not? Probably no. Or with dog, or on the mountain, or wherever. I will, I will point, I will highlight it, because if I go to LinkedIn, I see photos. Some of them are professional, looks good. By the way, every one of us have a great camera, everyone. And on LinkedIn, you can see some photos like shit. Why? Because we don't realize how important it is. How important is our presence. And LinkedIn is, in my opinion, the best way to build our developer um, personal brand. Um, uh, by the way, I reached the, to the end to the LinkedIn because I have uh, 30,000 uh, people in my circle and I can have more. You can only, only um, observe my, my profile, but I can't add you. And uh, so, <clears throat> but it's important. So remember, your photo on LinkedIn should be amazing. Amazing in a positive way. I am a Google developer expert and I am proud of it. So I show you this. And you can find me on this X platform. This is the third, the one, two, three most important things uh, I show you at the beginning. Yeah? To build my personal brand. I can speak for myself. You can took whatever you want from this presentation. My goal is to inspire you to start thinking about your personal brand. So as I said, everything, everything, everything is important. True or true? True. You agree with me? So, but uh, why? Why we should take care of it? Why? Why? What at the end of the day is for us, for our heart? Because everything what we're doing on this planet somehow is for our heart. So in my opinion, thinking about personal brand is related to self-actualization. Self-actualization uh, is at the top of this Abraham Maslow pyramids. You probably know it. You know this pyramid? And safe actualization is on the top. And personal branding is here, in my opinion. So standing out, as I said, in this crowded world is really, really important. So. Let's talk a little bit how to build our personal brand. I hope the first part a little bit inspire you to start thinking 
about your own personal brand. Now you know that you are a personal brand, not me, not Manfred, not Michael. You are a personal brand. You come here to build your personal brand, to, of course, to learn something new, to meet people. But at the end of the day, you build your personal brand. So what is really important building a personal brand is authenticity. Be authentic is crucial. Um, of course, innovation, expertise, passion, uh, communication, relationship building, everything is, is important. Let's start with trust. Uh, the trust is the foundation of most human relationships. Wherever we're talking about our professional or personal life, trust is crucial. So trust fosters communications, reduce the needs for supervision and control, and speed up our, uh, our decision-making process. So trust is amazing for building a personal brand. So if we're thinking, OK, but why? Why we have to build our personal brand? So for our career stability. Increasing, increasing a personal value can lead, can lead a better job offers, can hire the higher earnings, uh, the satisfaction, the career stability. So networking, if you are a strong personal brand, probably you have a great network. And uh, the recognition is obvious, yeah? So, and expertise. How to be an expert in your field? Deep knowledge, experience, lifelong learning. So, thank you, you are here. You choose this meetup instead of Netflix, YouTube, or TV or wherever, you are here. So thank you so much. Because you understand how lifelong learning is important. So to be expert, you have to learn every, every day. And you should take every opportunity like this meetup to meet new people, to share knowledge. If you want to be on this stage, call Manfred. It's it's amazing, amazing place to starting be public speaker. I, I said before, every one of us is a public speaker. But if you think about speaking about Angola, it's an amazing place to start. And Manfred, I think, is, uh, will be really happy if you call him. Manfred? <laughs> By the way, Manfred, when you realize that you are a personal brand, when was the moment, well, the turning case, point? Yeah, in my case, it was actually quite late because I just did things I enjoyed, like talking with people and giving some lectures. Uh, spreading the word about technology or writing blog articles, print articles, print books. And suddenly I, I recognized that this is also something I can make a living out of. But this came afterwards. I think the point where I realized it was when I sent a colleague of mine to a workshop and the people there wanted to see me and I was wondering why do they want to see me because it's about angle life, it's about the topic, it's not about me. But yeah, this is one of those turning points. Emma, how about you? 
when you realize that you are a personal brand? Um, that's a good question. I think I started talking similar to Mark Red, uh, and I, I was giving a talk on something like that I was interested in, and I did it because I was interested, and I was working on, on that thing, and I wanted to get promoted, so I was talking about myself to do that. Uh, and somebody in the audience came up to me afterwards and offered me a job, and I was like, oh, this, this should, I should keep doing this. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you so much for sharing. If someone else wants to share with us the, the story, you realize now that you're the turning point that you are a personal brand. Don't be shy. We are in a safe room. What happened in Graz? Stay in Graz. Sorry. Uh, I was just wondering like, what would happen. Like, I myself I just started to write a blog last year. And I was thinking, like, what would happen in case that everyone would write a blog, a blog or a book? Like, where will be then the value of uh, standing out, for example? Thank you. Thank you. If everyone wrote the book, if everyone have a podcast, if everyone have a YouTube channel, this is excuse. Nothing more, nothing less. Because if we think about that, um, what I want to inspire you is doing what you really want to do, what you love to do, what you dream about. Not force yourself to writing a book if you hate it. It doesn't work. If you, are, if you feel good to writing a blog post, start with blog post. If you feel good being on stage, no one feel good on being on stage at the beginning. But uh, if you want to force yourself to do it, because you see that it's an it's amazing opportunity, do it. So don't think about, yeah, everyone doing this, everyone doing this. This is not important. You are important. You, I am important. You are important. So if you decide to doing something, go for it. That's it. Now we have a digital world, but everyone, wa everyone wants to read a normal book. Not everyone, but most people read and buy normal book. You can, you can feel it. Okay? So it's the same like with, uh, with the, all the electronic watches, like uh, the Apple Watch, for example. I use it for years, and I love it. And in the same time, I hate it. Because I love all the messages come to the watch. So every time, oh, message, message. And I hate it in the same time, because it distracts me. So start thinking about this like, uh, OK, I am good at. Angular, or I am good at JavaScript, at TypeScript, or whatever. So how can I share the knowledge with people? In my way, in my style. Because people buying you, not the content, Manfred realized it, as, I, as he said very late, that people buying him, not the content. The content is a pretext but they buying him. We don't buying a technology. We buying people behind the technology. Let's go to the benefits for the company. There are some benefits for the company where the, uh, when, when they have some strong personal brands. Uh, do you think it's a good or not? I think that um, it's a lot of benefits for the company. For example, um, the strong personal brand 
attract another strong personal brand. The strong personal brand can be a leader, the top leader. And uh, the strong personal brand increase visibility for the company. So it's amazing if we, as a company, have a people who are strong personal brand because every company, every company is a, just a group of people. Nothing more, nothing less. Google is just a group of people. Yeah? True or true? True for me. So, as I said, attracting talents. High caliber professionals attract other high calibers. That's, that's obvious. Support in sales and marketing. If we have a super, hyper personal brand people on the, on the board, the marketing is very, very easy. Development and innovation, as I said, the, 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 the strong personal brand are usually leaders. And of course, increasing the company's value in the eye of clients, in the eye of investors, customers, and business partners. So one more time, how to build a personal brand? Just very quick, authenticity. Be authentic consistently. Um, specialization. So choose topic you love, some niche you love, and go there. Don't look to other people. It doesn't matter what your neighbor do. It doesn't matter which car your neighbor has. It doesn't matter. It's only you and your and you today and you tomorrow. What you, what you can do today to be better tomorrow. That's it. The outer world doesn't matter. Only you. Uh, continuous learning, as I said, but I want, you, I want to highlight it one more time. And sharing knowledge, it's what, I'm, what we are doing today. I want to show you some tools. You know these tools, but I want to highlight that it's a lot of tools that can help you to build personal brand like GitHub for collaboration. You know this tool? How many of you heard about GitHub? <laughs> Some of you, OK. The rest, what are you doing here? <laughs> Stack Overflow, Medium, Dev2, Meetup, X Spaces is similar to Clubhouse. Spotify for podcasters. I use it and I love it because I just published my podcast here on the Spotify for podcasters and it's, it's automatically distributed for all the platforms I want. Adobe for podcast is for, for it's, um, it's an AI for improving the sound quality. It's an amazing tool. CodePen, StackBlitz. This platform may be someone. Some of you heard about this platform? Some of you, OK, one person. So it is a YouTube. You can upload a video there, and some people can watch this video. Very easy. LinkedIn, I love, I love this tool for building a professional, personal brand. So when you Go home after this meetup. Just go to your profile, 
read it one more time, and thinking you like it or not. Watch this. Uh, so, watch this. Your photo. It's a professional photo, or is photo in a bathroom or someone else? So, we are developers. So, we should show to the world that we are developers. Yeah. So, summary. If you use some of this point, start with some of this point, for me, it'd be amazing. If I convince you today to start thinking about your personal brand, I am happy. Thank you so much. <laughs>